All right, everyone. I hope you guys are doing really well out there. And it's been a while since I've made a video. I've just had a lot going on. I started a job a couple months ago and then I quit that job. And so I just, I haven't been able to really um, prioritize uh, content making like I should. So anyways, I wanted to make an attempt to just try to get caught up on some things and show you guys what I have. Um, I was at Harbor Freight today or the other day and there was something that really uh, stood out to me because I had just made that video in regards to um, using the cobalt chop saw for uh, metal cutting. So I was at uh, Harbor Freight and I will show you what I found. Let me get you guys turned around and we'll, we'll get into this. Sit tight. All right, everyone. So this is the saw blade that I I did my my video my chop saw advice for beginners video uh, uh, about two or three weeks ago so I was at Harbor Freight and I saw this hanging up on the wall and it really just for whatever reason it just caught my attention so anyways I had to buy it I just had to buy it and make a video out of it so it's a seven and a quarter inch blade that's uh, for designed for cutting steel as you can plainly see there um, 48 tooth same as the Diablo this one for whatever reason I don't know if it's the packaging but I feel like it's a little bit thicker like it might just be a little bit heavier um, anyway so this here is a seven and a quarter inch chop saw um, from Lowe's under their cobalt label and uh, it works awesome for cutting metal and so what I, I already have it set up just for the sake of time um, this is some two inch or two and a half inch square tubing that is quarter inch wall thickness so I figured we would take a few cuts off of it with that blade because I figured quarter inches is really um, that's pretty heavy duty stuff and if it does well on that then that should be able to just tell you what we're in for like if you were to go ahead and buy this for your own projects um anyways so i really like this setup because if you are a mobile welder fabricator and sometimes you have to cut things out in the field i like this is the setup simply for the fact that it's lightweight and it is incredibly versatile so let me change the blade it has the wood cutting blade in it right now um the saw is unplugged and then i'll pull the trigger just to make sure there's no stored energy in it as per M Shaw regulations or whatever. Um, let me get you guys in the stand and we'll uh, change the blade. Sit tight. All right. I must say that I'm pretty impressed with this packaging. Like somebody at some point put a lot of thought into this this is something that i would expect from a a far more expensive brand wow it even has a piece of has a foam rubber deal in it to protect the blade from from being dropped and stuff let's see Wow. All right. Another thing too that was um, kind of what kind of led me to making this video or wanting to make this video is that this saw blade from Harbor Freight was $27. And I believe that that Freud, that Steel Demon, the Diablo one was uh, $34. So let's 
Let's see what we get. There we go. Well, I guess, you know, it, it's a brand new blade, so like, what do you expect? Got a left-handed thread on this. So I should be, in reality, I should, this would be loosening it if I was going, if it was normal. Blade is secure. Um, let's go ahead and plug it back in and see what happens here. Sorry about that, I had to go plug in the other end of my extension cord. Okay. Um, let's go ahead, first cut. Hercules seven and a quarter inch steel cutting blade. Hope you guys can see that there. The finish looks really nice. Um, cut looks really square. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't wanna. Oh. Let's, uh, let's take another cut here and see how it goes. So I know why it did that was because All right, second cut Well, as you can see, I cut that and I'm just handling it with my bare hands. It's warm, but it's not hot. Yeah, pretty. I don't know, like this, this is kind of silly, I feel, but. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, let's, uh, let's do a miter cut. Should have clamped the saw to the table, but oh, I guess hindsight for whatever reason is always 2020. Uh, let's see, there we go. All right, uh, 
Hercules uh, metal cutting saw blade, carbide tooth, uh, miter on some quarter inch wall, uh, two inch square tubing. Let's see what we got. <laughs> So something that I, I didn't do on the last video was it, I didn't clean the burrs off before I did like my little handheld sit up. So for, for less than $250 um, to be able to make just really, really clean cuts in metal um is kind of a good deal especially if you have a you know if you're um like just you're just breaking into it or you have something you're a, you're like you know you're like an accountant or a dentist or something and you want to take on a project just for the satisfaction of being able to do something yourself um i feel like this is an excellent excellent way to get started um, without breaking the bank or if you're a mobile fabricator and sometimes at certain job sites you have to park quite a distance away and you have to load everything up on a cart and you have to make several trips and anytime you could save on weight that's a big deal so uh, let's go I'm not happy with that so hold on There we go. Okay, as you can see, I'm 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 handling with, with my bare hands. I'd say it's it's warm but it's not hot. But then again, it's, you know, we're getting towards the bottom end of September here in Arizona or in Phoenix and it's 104 today. So I guess I have to add that in too. So I hope you guys can see that but anyways um, somebody's trying to call me and I, I didn't forgot to put it in airplane so anyways this thing I'm um, I don't know what to say like I, it's really close to the to the Freud blade um, hold on let me get you guys turned around so I want to say that this is really close to the Freud blade. Um, you know, I want to say that I, it's like, I almost want to include like, Hey, I'm pretty impressed with the packaging, but that's kind of irrelevant. So anyways, for the price and it really, really did cut smooth. I'd probably say it's about the same as the Freud. Um, it's just one of those things where I'll have to come back to it after I've used it a lot to really give you my final thoughts. Um, Anyways, hold on. Um, anyways, so I hope that helps out a lot. I was, I think as far as I'm concerned, that is a phenomenal uh, combination with being able to cut metal in that, in that way. And um, just cause I'm not, I really am not into the 14 inch chop saws at all. Like those things are just, they're a mess. I and mean, I know that this is still a mess, but I think I'd rather have this mess than that mess, if that makes a lick of sense. Anyways, you guys, uh, thanks again. A lot more to come. 
uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you could share these videos with your friends and family, that would be great. Um, this video also is brought to you by my friends at Eccl Saw and Supply. Uh, right here, they are a great small family owned company um, for porta band blades all the way up to giant uh, metal cutting band saws, uh, even into the realm of uh, portable sawmill blades. Um, you want to call them and talk to Clayton and tell them uh, that you saw their uh, video, or not their video, but that 26FE was promoting them. Um, anyways, anyways, thanks again, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out.